Man, Honorable Winnie, we, we, we definitely want to have a chat with you. You have just returned from, if you can just face our camera, you have just returned from the court martial. Just move a little to the side. Uh, what have you found on ground there? We have actually been at the place that was designated for the court martial, according to the statement of the Prime Minister, but there is nothing taking place. Our colleagues, the lawyers of the Honorable Chagulanyi, went even inside the prison, the barracks. Mm. Well, the army there seem to be non-committal. They don't want to tell people that Chagulanyi is in the barracks. They don't even want to mention where he is. At some point they said Chagulanyi had been shifted to Arua, but at the same time they want to again make us believe that he's in the barracks. But actually you see that there is no sign of anything called the court martial. Mm. They don't want us to know where exactly he is. So we still want to demand that they tell us where our colleague is. Where is the representative of the people of Chadondo? Where is the Honorable Zake? We have been able to see the Honorable Karuhanga, the Honorable Muiru, the Honorable Mike Mavike, the Honorable Kasiano Wadri, but they were tortured. So we believe that possibly the Honorable Chagulanyo could have been tortured beyond bearing, and possibly it's the reason they don't want people to access him. His wife has been denied access to his husband. And it is real unfortunate that, that, his, that his wife can come and they say no to her. The lawyers come and they say no to them. So who can access him if his closest family members cannot access him? His lawyers cannot access him. What kind of good governance is this? And we still believe that we have good managers. We still believe that we follow the dictates of constitutionalism. It is so sad. Honorable Winnie, I just want to, yesterday parliament sat, and this was a directive by the Speaker of Parliament to send members of parliament here. Yes. Does it mean really that the power of parliament that, is being... That means know, the power of parliament is being underrated that the Prime Minister can stand on the floor of the House and speak falsehoods, that members of Parliament can even be denied access after an order from the Speaker, so which means even the Speaker's order is just being thrown out to the garbage. Mm. It is real unfortunate that our government is conveniently now dealing with institutions as and when it deems it fit. I got shocked to see that even the head of state is directing courts on what to do. Charge them with terrorism, charge them with, the, with the treason, as if he thinks that the judges don't know what they, to do. The prime minister on behalf of government, he forms the parliament, you will see your people tomorrow, there will be court martial tomorrow, and there is no court martial. What does this speak about our government? That there is no institution that needs to be respected. So tomorrow, what will I respect of the Prime Minister, for example, appearing before Parliament and telling me something, can I believe it anymore? In which situation are they putting the Speaker? That a Speaker's directive cannot be respected? What is this? So really, Ugandans, some of us came here to demand for peace. Mm. William, want to... Some of us came here to demand for justice. Some of us came here to plead that the rule of law prevails. Some of us came here to reaffirm the dictates of democracy. But it's unfortunate. Honorable Winnie, you, you were here a little earlier, and I want just to get your side. Uh, understand that you were able to see that the members of parliament who have been detained, including yes. Honorable Cassiano Wandry. Yes. We just want you to let us know what is their condition. The worry is that the public that they've been beaten. That is the information we yes, got. Yes, it from is our... true. They were beaten. They were tortured. As I speak right now, there is a lady called Asara Knight. Asara Knight is passing urine as she wants to urinate. Then when she passes stool, it has urine. It has blood this shows you how these women were tortured even the members of parliament are complaining of uh, beatings they are complaining of torture really does it warrant this that when people want to pass a signal that really we need to pass a voice and say this is our representative they are tortured this much but i want to thank the people of arua that despite all this they sent signals and I want to congratulate them.
we shall continue struggling for peace, struggling for justice, struggling to ensure that our country goes back to the correct line. Thank you.